This is Hannibal from TheHannibalTV.com, Canada's most popular professional wrestling YouTube channel, but we also cover combat sports, and you are now the official ambassador for Judo Canada. Congratulations on that. Can you tell the fans out there who don't know your uh, expert in that uh, sport how you came up with this new title? Yeah, so, uh, want me to hold that there? Sure. Um, I did judo my whole life. Provincial team for Ontario, national team, and I represented, I went to the Junior Worlds, and I, I just, that was my first love. I loved judo. Um, I stepped away from judo during my professional wrestling career, and as soon as I had to retire because of my neck, I immediately returned to judo, and w when I opened Battle Arts Academy before, we were offering judo, but I wasn't coaching it. I actually had a, another coach. So as soon as I retired, I took on the coaching responsibilities myself. I even went, you know, got certified as an instructor and all that stuff, and um, I love it. I, I have athletes they take to nationals and, and uh, provincial tournaments um, but I do post about it a lot so there's a guy Mark Pickering he's a judo fan he's a, he works for the IJF he's also a professional wrestling fan and he saw that I was posting a lot he was following me for the professional wrestling stuff history and he saw that I was posting a lot about judo showing techniques promoting judo and uh, he had me invited to uh, 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 one of the world judo tour tournaments in Dusseldorf, Germany, where I met everybody, they treated me great. Um, and then I was invited back to uh, Budapest, where I did a little commentary. And then when the Montreal Grand Prix happened last year, it was the first ever Canadian Grand Prix on the world judo tour. Uh, I did commentary uh, for the whole thing. I did some commentary at the Worlds and the Cadet World. So I'm working with the IJF on a part-time basis. And Judo Canada recognized, one, I have a, you know, pretty decent social media following and I'm already doing I'm already promoting the sport of judo as best I can I work on Sportsnet for Aftermath and often um, in the beginning of the show I'll congratulate a, a judo athlete for a particular international result or I'll finish off the show by saying you know don't forget put your kids in judo that kind of thing so um, and it's interesting because the guys that are like the president uh, or the CEO, Nicholas Gill and Patrick Esparbez, they all work for Judo Canada. That's also my generation on the national team. So they reached out, asked if I'd be interested <laughs> in uh, this ambassador role. And I said, absolutely. Uh, it would be an honor and a privilege to really grow judo in terms of mainstream popularity. So, you know, when you watch the news, you see the, the golf results, the tennis results, but we don't really show the judo results. And our team, the Canadian team is doing fantastic internationally. So I really want some of the judo athletes to become household names. And I'm going to do my best to really promote judo. And I use professional wrestling because if you want to be a professional wrestler when you grow up, there's no better prerequisite than judo because you learn how to do the break falls rolling break falls of course you have takedowns submissions um, if you train MMA you get all that but if you just choose one sport I think judo is, is the best prerequisite for, for anyone that wants to be a pro wrestler um, it's good for amateur wrestling too amateur wrestling is, is number two um, they just don't do the we don't specialize I wrestled as well but they don't specialize in the break falls oh but I mean like in the off season oh yeah amateur to train judo at, at battle arts my judo athletes cross train in BJJ and they cross train in amateur wrestling grappling is grappling across the board and you'll always pick up little things that you can transfer to the other and just make you a better grappler um, I love all martial arts but grappling is I think the best for kids to take I mean you're, you're a wrestler you know that as well and it's easier on the knuckles too yeah 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 the broken bones in the hands so it's an honor and a privilege and uh, I'm, since I'm the first one I get to kind of carve out the role so to speak and what we're going to do so we're going to start um, I, I wrote them last week I want to do something where we do a get to know you uh, you know, series on YouTube with the Canadian Olympic team so that when you are watching the Olympics and judo comes on, you'll know a little bit about the guy who's fighting or the girl who's fighting and, um, you know, just get a little more uh, invested. When are the Olympic trials? I believe that, uh, I know for amateur wrestling they're in December. When are they for judo? It's different for judo. We don't have trials anymore. Throughout the year for the World Judo Tour, you have to qualify yourself internationally with a certain amount of victories at higher level tournaments. So I think the team is pretty much sorted out. 
there may be a few last minute tournaments that guys could qualify, but uh, I think for the most part, it's pretty much uh, determined. Well, thanks a lot for talking to us. I appreciate it. Uh, where can people follow you on Judo Canada and your personal Yeah, uh, my personal stuff is Milan Miracle uh, for Twitter and for Instagram, The Milan Miracle. And yeah, you know, I'll be posting a lot of links for stuff for, the, you know, YouTube and Judo Canada and the IJF. And we'll all be trying to work together, even CBC and Sportsnet. We want to promote the Canadian team as, as much as possible. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with us and congratulations. Oh, I'm really impressed with your new position. Thank you so much.